Okay, so right now I'm on my way to the venue location for family number five. We're gonna meet a few of you guys there. Today might be, might be a bit challenging in terms of arranging the spot because we overbooked, but let's see how it's gonna be tonight. Okay, so now everything is almost ready. Um, I'm finished organizing the place, as you can see, all right? So one more thing, we're waiting for the food to arrive. It would be here, hopefully on time today, 6, 6, 37, <laughs> the latest, uh, but I'm just waiting. Uh, there's no one here yet, but uh, people should be here um, in about one hour, more or less. Okay. 
Right. Writing has always been like, a, actually writing poetry has always been like an outlet for me. This one's called Just Bloom. No one tells a flower how to grow, yet they know. They receive from the sun. Their cells are in motion, constantly changing like the waves of the ocean. They bud, sprout, and bloom. Flowers catch your attention. Like the brightness of the moon, they force you to mention them. As they dance with the wind, their fragrance is released. The most beautiful of scents to your senses a relief. A joy, a reflection. Flowers capture your affection. As you marvel at their beauty, you find no form of deception. The glory of creation you appreciate and love. Flowers bloom. They sh they're showing you there is a God above. So much color, shapes, and size. The variation is incredible. Only God could show beauty like this. They are unforgettable. Like the flowers bloom and shine like the moon and capture our affection. Like flowers bloom and grow so soon without any direction. You too can bloom. You too can shine. Just look within and see. Creator God has planted in you a seed like one of these. Your purpose, hidden in your dreams, your passions are already evident, yet suppressed by the world, they become an impediment. To your speech, you try to reach but can't attain, because that mental block and that loud societal voice is driving you insane. So you withdraw and let go of those dreams you once had. As a child, you would play. You were glad. Because you knew who you were and all you wanted to be. But you see, they've been attacking your individuality, causing choke of the mind, anxiety. You gasp for air, but there's none to rescue thee. Just another vaccine forced to show you who's supreme in this world. But greater is he that's within. Well, that's if you believe in him. Your purpose is crying, slowly dying, and trying to come out while they numb you with more apps, hacks, and flax, pokes, jokes, and notes. Your purpose is crying, trying to surface. Competition is fierce. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram are inevitable. Your purpose is so malnourished, it may soon die, because it's susceptible. Goodbye, purpose. You had a nice try. But when it does, all you feel is empty. Wondering what coulda, shoulda happened if you lived your best life. Like flowers bloom and shine like the moon and capture your affection. Like flowers bloom and grow so soon without any direction. You too can bloom. You too can shine. Just look within and see. So go ahead. Woo! So the event is over, so we're cleaning up, packing up. It's almost 11 o'clock. I'm tired. Jay's tired. Everybody's tired. We want to go home, but guys, those of you guys who uh, showed up, who came out, we had a packed house, a full house. We actually almost overbooked. We did, but some people never showed up, but we still had a full house. Thank you guys so much for coming. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel, of course, for weekly videos on the black experience across the globe. Until next time. Bye for now. Tiffany, say bye.